Mukherjee Shalili is the Minister of Trade, Industry, Business Development and Tourism in the new cabinet. He joins us now to talk a little bit more about uh, his appointment and, of course, uh, the vision of the Prime Minister. Firstly, congratulations. Thank you so much for uh, speaking to us. Perhaps let me just get uh, to hear from you um, your thoughts on this honour conferred on you. As we said, there's been a drastic cut in the number of ministers and yet you made the cut. We made the cut. We made the cut, a very necessary and uh, a trusted uh, cut. Um, we have had um, a quite huge cabinet in the past. Uh, the last one was 36. And uh, at this point, uh, with this new cabinet, we have uh, 15 ministries uh, with uh, 16 ministers. So it's quite a good uh, cut. Um, it was very necessary to do so uh, because uh, basically, uh, we are a country of two million people, and if you take a country such as China, uh, with a population of 1.3 billion people, not million, billion people, we have uh, they have 20 ministries. Um, let's take another country, maybe France or so, something like that, 80 million people and uh, 16 ministries. So the Soto uh, uh, cabinet was uh, quite huge for for its population mm. to start with. Not to mention the fact that uh, uh, we, we are having a, a very serious problem of uh, physical uh, deficit. We do not simply have enough resources to finance a huge cabinet. Each minister has to have maybe up to eight staff members, a couple of vehicles uh, to make his job secure and safe. That is a necessity. Uh, but if you have a big cabinet, then that means we're going to have all of those uh, 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 people bringing in staff and it was putting a lot of pressure on the budget. Mm. So what you're basically saying is that this cabinet is fit for purpose and just looking at your portfolio, I mean, uh, there are quite a number of them, as we mentioned, it's trade and industry in some countries, those are put together, business development and tourism. Um, the, the Prime Minister has promised to make Lesotho great again. So in line with uh, the responsibilities at that face, how are you going to uh, ensure that these portfolios coalesce to reach that, vil uh, that vision. The Prime Minister promising to improve the country's macroeconomic position, tap into and realize the potential economic returns of the existing positive investment environment and provide access to quality services for all. So if you could just share with us mm -hmm. how you're going to use your various portfolios to achieve this. Hmm. I think we should go a little back, a little bit back in in, in history. Um, we have had very lean government before, um, and and the population has not really changed that much since back then. Um, what has happened is that with uh, uh, the, the 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 coming in of uh, coalition governments, we have have had a tendency to uh, divide and dissect uh, functions of same ministries to an extent that uh, they ballooned so that we can accommodate um, coalition partners. Now, the situation at this point, uh, we have managed to gather enough votes that we do not need to, to have uh, as, many, uh, 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 as many of these ministries as uh, other governments have done in the past. Uh, the previous one, for instance, as I've said, they had about uh, 36 ministers, 36 including uh, what they call deputy ministers, which is another portfolio that we have already removed in this new cabinet. We are not going to have any assistant ministers. We do not see uh, the role of, of, of such portfolios in the day-to-day -day running of, of, of government. And uh, if you take the ministry that I'm heading, for instance, Initially, it was the Minister of Trade and Industry, and it included all those functions, trade, industry, and business development. What was not part of that ministry was the tourism uh, component of it. Uh, but still, uh, the tourism component uh, is not a very uh, uh, different uh, component. It's, it's still 
some kind of an industry that requires the same skills, the same set of uh, uh, support from the government. Hence, they are grouped together. Mm. Now, uh, in terms of the promises that the new Prime Minister is also making is that his government would strengthen climate risk management, resilience and adaptation and strengthen public financial management ahead of the COP27 uh, talks. What is the Lesotho government taking there just in terms of interventions that you believe will help you and what you see are worthy investments while still seeking and achieving development? Yeah. Um, first, the, 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 the Prime Minister has actually taken the portfolio of environment directly into his office, which is, which is also the first. Um, he has the, the, the Ministry of Defence and, and uh, Security, plus this one of uh, environment. We, we, we take it to be a very important um, aspect. Uh, we are having quite a lot of uh, storms of late. Uh, the bridges are gone. Farming has uh, actually been disturbed uh, because of the heavy rains that we are getting. All of this is uh, in due part to uh, climate change. And, and we, we have to position Lesotho in the global uh, 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 climate debate such that it can, as a country, benefit from uh, all the support that is due to, 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 to us. Uh, be it uh, financial support in terms of carbon trading and so on and so forth, uh, so that we can bring that uh, those funds back here and plow them back here uh, to uh, rebuild, uh, to provide financial support for our private sector. Um, so it, it is a very uh, important um, uh, and very critical um, uh, ministry mm. to, uh, to, 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 to work with. And just in terms of, I mean, we were just speaking about some of the challenges that Kenya is facing. In fact, in East Africa, the Horn of Africa, because of uh, climate yeah. change and drought. And you, as a revolution for prosperity uh, party, have said in the past that you might consider banning the importation of agricultural products uh, from South Africa to promote your own domestic market. Is this something that you're still going ahead with and how are you going to do it just in terms of ensuring that you give farmers a market even before that they can stop? Because that's it. Uh, you said that's what you're going to do to encourage them to increase their capacity and improve on these standards. Yes, uh, import substitution is a very important tool, uh, but it has to be efficient. Um, we, 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 we have to uh, ensure as we uh, substitute uh, certain commodities. Let me take, for example, um, uh, chicken, frozen chicken. We import about 450 million of that per annum. And uh, our sister country, Botswana, with a similar population but higher income, they, they import around 90 million. Swaziland is around 45. Um, it doesn't mean they are not eating as much chicken as, as, as we are eating. But basically what, what it says is that those two countries have been able to develop their own industry to create employment to their own people and uh, feed their own people. This is what I'm talking about when I say uh, import substitution has got to be efficient other than just uh, closing down the, the, the borders and then run out of uh, uh, product uh, media or something like that. So the government will have to be very, very uh, selective in what it is that uh, is going to be uh, substituted. We have a comparative advantage to, to, to grow them at a very good uh, uh, price. Uh, okay. For instance, uh, something like maize, uh, it's a very difficult one. Uh, it needs huge stretch of land to start with. And uh, we cannot, uh, in all fairness, produce it cheaper than the maize triangle in South Africa. That says we are better off uh, 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 continuing to, to, to buy maize and maize products from South Africa 
so that uh, our population can afford and we can replace such losses with other products, such as chicken, like I mentioned. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I'm sure we'll continue the conversation at some stage. Ntate Mkhetishelile, Lesotho's Trade and Industry Minister.